Hi there. Hey, I decided to uh, make some triple arches. Here's my first one I've built. I thought I'd walk you through the build process. Uh, what I have here in front of me are the, all the parts necessary. I printed these out from SFL Designs. These are triple arches. I use PETG and I followed uh, SFL's instructions for off of my 3D printer on the amount of infill that was necessary for them. I need some uh, M4 bolts uh, that are 15 millimeters long, then the nuts for that. I also need some number six screws, half inch long, and some acetone. This isn't absolutely necessary, but I like to take the writing off of the PEX pipe, and uh, the acetone does a nice job of removing that. You'll need to do that in a well ventilated area so that you uh, don't get the fumes. And you also need, you need a piece of half inch EMT, uh, five foot long. And then you need some, I'm using pixel strips. I got these from your pixel store. They're actually designed for these triple arches directly. They're 55, 52 and 49 pixels each uh, to the right size. And then you need one inch uh, PEX pipe. Uh, and I use 10 foot sections and I cut them to length for the length of the pixel strips. Um, so that comes, uh, actually a pretty neat setup, uh, pretty easy to assemble. So let's go ahead and get started. So, all right, I'm outside here and now I'm going to remove the writing off of the PEX pipe. I have my acetone and my gloves and some paper towels. So first of all, let's get the gloves on. Oh, and we got a new puppy who wants to eat the gloves. Okay, Bear, come on. Be careful, Bear. Yep. Yeah, this is one of our foster dogs. He is, uh, he's just was born, wasn't wanted, so we're taking care of him for a little while until, uh, until he gets old enough to get fixed and he can have a, uh, he can find him a new home cute little lab puppy all right so simple paper towel and take my pex pipe with the acetone on it and just wipe it off real simple all you need to do is clean it off and you notice i'm doing this outside because acetone is quite volatile and you need to keep it in a well ventilated area so you're not inhaling the fumes. All right, now I have a piece of one inch PEX pipe with no writing on it. Half inch EMT comes in five foot and 10 foot sections from the big box store. If you're using more than one of the arches that you're making, I suggest you go with the 10 foot sections and cut them in half. All you need is a, a cutoff wheel and an angle grinder. A lot of you already have those tools around, um, so uh, just measure in half and cut it. Um, we'll go ahead and take care of that now. And make sure you're wearing the proper safety gear. You see I have my face shield. I have a leather apron, which I use for welding as well. Uh, protect me from frying, flying debris as you cut the, the metal, metal EMT. So I'll get my gloves on and let's cut it. So once you uh, cut the EMT pipe, you have some sharp edges there, um, and those could interfere fitting into the uh, to the 3D printed uh, base. So I just have a couple files here, have a flat edge one and a round one, and I'm just going to file off those edges. Just take off the burrs there on it. That way it'll fit in place and not create any issues when you want to slide it in to the base. All right, so let's walk through these uh, these mounts that came from SFL Designs that I 3D printed um, and how they work. All right, so uh, first of all, these top three pieces, that's where your PEX fits in and it arches over to the one next to it. 
and they kind of angle towards each other. Um, and then you got these holes on the side. And with those holes, you take some uh, screws and you screw it in there. I'm using number six screws that are half inch long. They just, just stick in a little bit to catch that peck. So here's a piece of one inch pecs that I left over piece and they just slide in there nice, nice and nice and tight. So now it's time to drill the holes through the base that's gonna go through the half inch EMT. So to do that, I just slide the EMT all the way in, making sure it's all the back. And I set this on my workbench and I've clamped it in place so it holds a bit better. Okay, and I have a five three seconds inch drill bit. I got it on my slow speed and I just put it through the hole here on the, the mount and drill it out. Okay, and it breaks right through there. And so now I'm just gonna take a M4 screw that's just gonna be um, sacrificial at this point. I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna hold the uh, mount in place. I'm gonna remove my clamp. I'm gonna bring it around the other side. And you notice I didn't drill all the way through. And the reason I do that is to make sure everything stays aligned. And by drilling by hand, I won't be able to drill straight through where it'll line up perfectly. So what I've done is I drill one side and then the other. And that's in place here with this screw holding in place. And I'm gonna screw the other side. Okay, so now I've screwed it all the way through. Now you might find that there still doesn't quite fit all the way through or it's, it's a little tight. And so what I do now is I take out the, I take out the piece of pipe, or EMT I should say, and I'm gonna ream this hole out a little bit larger. And I'll go to a 3 16 inch bit. So it's just a little bigger. Just to make it a little bit bigger. And now everything should line up just right. If you use a hand drill like I did, you might get a burr, get a file. Get rid of those burrs. Now I'll be able to put this through here. Line it up. Take my M4 screw. And it should go all the way through. There we go. And so now I just repeat that on the opposite side. And so now I'm gonna cut um, my pecs to, to the length. And I'm gonna use these pre, uh, pre-sized uh, pixel strips from your pixel store three different sizes this one is the 1.45 meters the next one would be 1.6 the next one is or i mean 2.6 meters and the last one is 2.75 so i'm just going to pull this off of the spool nice thing about these i do, i hate soldering on pixel strips you can get the the five meter strips and cut them to size but then you end up having to solder a, a connector on it with them coming free from the factory like this. Um, they're all soldered up, they're sealed up nice, so they're nice and waterproof. So I don't need to worry about that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay the strip next to the, to the pecs. And just stretch it out. Make sure I have my Sharpie with me. Then I am going to mark the end of it. From the edge of the strip to the edge of the strip. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add about an inch on that. And I have a, a marker here on the edge of my table here. And I'm just going to add another inch. That way there's a little bit of room to pull it tight on the inside of the... Uh, when you pull the strips through the pecs and you bring it up onto the mount. And all I'm going to use is just some PVC pipe cutters and line it up on my mark and cut it. So now it's cut to length. So I've cut all three of the one inch PEX pipe to length. I'm all one inch extra longer than the actual strip is. And the actual lengths I have is the longest one's 111 and a half inches. The middle one is 105 inches. And the shortest one is 99 and a half inches.
And all I'm gonna do is simply is I'm gonna take the snook, go down here to the end of the pipe, and I'm gonna push it through. Really quite simple. You just keep pushing it through until it gets to the end. <clears throat> all right, so now I'm gonna start feeding the, or put the PEX pipe into the mouth. The short one go on the inside. The medium ones go on the middle and the longest go on the outside. I'm going to start on this end. I'm going to pull out my M4 screw and I'm pull it all the way, almost all the way out so I can actually see through the mount into the bottom of it. Um, I need to do that so the actual the cable for the uh, strips actually goes through the bottom. Now, if you get a little awkward because these are long, my shop roof gets in the way, probably going to hit my icicles. So, we'll have to, I'll just do it like this first. Slide it through. Do the first one. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that on your ends of your X connects, they're going to be daisy chain. You're going to go in like on the shortest one, then go to the middle as you go back and forth. So, you want. Um, opposite ends on it and the last one will be or the first one depending on which side you're on so it'll be where you connect it up so I am going to slide this one in position and now I'm going to slide this one in position all right so now it's time to take the EMT pipe and mount it in place and push it through and see so you have to watch make sure that the cables go down below and line up with the way the cables cutouts are all right just push it all the way into the end my hole that i pre-drilled there is lined up and i'm going to drop my m4 screw in place so that one's set in position i can actually go here and connect up this one i want to now and this one will feed it from the controller all right so i'm going to walk you through my setup for actually uh, bending the uh, pex pipe what I've done is the one I just showed you a minute ago, locked in position. I've clamped that on my workbench, and I put this clamp here to hold it in place so it doesn't slide towards me as I pull it. And I'm going to grab the closest one to me, the shortest. I'm going to bend it around and put it in here. And then I will slide the EMT into position. Then I'll grab the next. Now the second one and the third one. And then I will put the uh, M4 screw to lock it in position. All right, so uh, let me get set up for doing that. So as I described earlier, I'm just gonna grab the PEX pipe and I'm gonna bend it around. And I'm going to slide it through the hole here. Let's get it started. Looks like my clamp came a little loose. Now I got the, I have to get the EMP around the wire. There we go. I got the first one in place. Move the camera so you can see that. Now I grab this one and repeat it. There may be other ways to do this, but this is the way. I've chosen to make my life a little easier. All right, let's get the last one. Bring it around. And force it through. I'll give you a close-up of it. And there we go. With the M4 screw holding it in position, forcing its, its shape. I'm going to tip it right side up and I'm going to finish um, bottoming out the, the PEX pipe. So now I have the, uh, the arch upright and I'm going to basically bottom out the PEX pipe and each where it sits up flush against the, the EMT. Here we go. If I take a step back here so you can see it and you see it's a nice arch. Nice, consistent spacing. So I have some uh, number six by half inch screws. You could probably use three quarter as well. 
It's just there's uh, four of them per arch per side. And this is just a little bit, grabs in just a little bit, and we'll hold it. Really leaves no risk for it puncturing. I don't think it goes all the way through the pecs using the half inch. But there's enough of them to get enough of a, a bite into the pex pipe to prevent it from uh, sliding anywhere. It locks it in place. Have all the screws in place to hold the pex arches into position. And the only thing I haven't done yet is put the uh, nuts on the end of the M4 uh, screws there. So let's get this, get this going here. Get this back. Set the camera for us. And take my nut. Just hand thread it on there. There we go. Take my ratchet and my screwdriver. And just tighten it up. So you can see the 50 millimeters are the perfect size. Locks in place, everything is nice and secure. When you go put it in your yard, you use these uh, tent stakes. I found these, I think the best place I found them is Walmart in the, uh, in the camping section. And just buy a bunch of them. So I also thought I'd show you the connection, or how you connect two bases together. All right, you basically take a half inch PVC pipe, slide it through this connector, and you put two arches back to back. Real nice design. Uh, the pipe will prevent it from uh, twisting, um, being blown over by the wind. Um, it also ensures you have perfectly consistent spacing. I will also probably, now that I have half inch EMT in the middle, I have the snowflakes I put in the middle of my arches. I think I'm going to come up with a way to mount it to that instead of pounding those into the ground and make my life easier. So uh, maybe I'll have that in a future video. So this concludes my uh, video on building these... Uh, Triple arches using pixel strip and um, these 3D printed bases. The bases are from SFL Design. The strips I got from your pixel store. And I printed the bases with my own, uh, own printer. Um, purchased the file from SFL. Uh, you can also buy them pre-printed for you if you want to use them. But um, I really like the look they turned out. Looking good. Uh, yeah, I hope this helps somebody out there. You guys have a wonderful day.